Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to sync dailies the old-fashioned way on film. So to start off, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a synchronizer. It keeps the film in sync. Um, it's going to have to have a sound head right here. Um, it reads the sound and you're going to need a speaker or amplifier of some sort. Um, so the sound head plugs in here so you can hear the sound while you sync. Um, you're going to need a rewind bench, which is this bad boy. Um, it's got a rewind on the left and a rewind on the right. Um, this is going to help you advance your film. You're going to need a splicer. Um, today I'm using a Riva splicer for 35mm film. You're going to need some clear sprocketed uh, editing tape for um, the picture, and then you're going to need some white uh, sprocketed mag tape for the magnetic sound. You're also going to want to have some paper tape on hand for um, taping down your film. And then you're going to also need um, some cores. These are 3 inch standard 35 millimeter cores. You're also going to want um, some white leader. This is um, some 35 millimeter uh, acetate white leader. You're going to want to splice at least 10 feet of this on the head and tail of your picture and sound roll. As you can see, I've already done that here. So white on the head, white on the tail. Um, this is on a three inch core also. This is my sound roll of magnetic film. And this is my picture roll. And I'm going to sync these together. I almost forgot, you're gonna want some split reels. Um, you're gonna mount the film, uh, that the picture roll and the sound roll that is on the three inch cores onto one of these. You're gonna need at least two for two to mount the film onto, and um, you're gonna want uh, two more for take up. Uh, you could also use uh, regular house reels, which are these up here. Um, these right, these right here are the split reels. All right, so next I'm gonna want to mount my picture and my magnetic sound roll on a split reel. So this is a split reel. Um, it comes a, comes apart like this. Just un untwist it. You just untwist it like that. Comes out into two halves. Um, and then you're gonna see one one half is gonna have a little pin. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your picture roll and you're going to want to put the core on there like just like this and it will lock. You want to screw this back on. Just like that. So next you're going to want to put it on your left rewind. Next, I'm going to be doing the same thing with the split reel, except I'm going to put my magnetic sound roll on it. Alright, so I have my picture roll on here, and now I'm going to want to mount my sound roll also. But in order to do that, so you're going to want to put this spacer in between um, the picture and the sound reel so that they can um, spin together in sync. The next thing you're going to want to do is, um, so this is a lock so that it holds the reels tightly in place and you're going to want to mount that on your rewind also. So I have two more split reels right here and um, I'm going to put a 3 inch core on each one and I'm going to mount it on this rewind over here. So as you can see, I mounted the two split reels um, on the other rewind with the two 3-inch cores, and I also put a spacer and a lock on it so that they stay steady while I'm syncing the film.
So for the sake of the video, I already spliced on um, 10 feet of leader at the heads and tails of the picture and sound roll. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get your picture leader. Um, as you can see, it says heads. And um, you're going to want to put it, put the first frame, which is the first four perfs of the film, on the zero frame. And you're going to want to do the same thing with your sound. After you have um, the two leaders in the synchronizer, you can kind of just unlock your synchronizer and then just freely roll it through. Then you're going to want to take each leader, so this is the picture right here, and I'm going to m mount it on this first reel right here and this is my sound leader so I'm gonna mount it on the second roll which is right here So after you have the sound and pictures threaded through the synchronizer, you kind of just want to um, advance the film through until um, you get to the actual footage and sound. I'm going to do that with keeping a little tension on the reels right here as you spin the tape up. So I spun the leader through here, and as you can see um, where my film starts, this is where my film starts, and then my magnetic sound starts here. Um, so you're going to want to put the sound head down, um, so you can actually hear the sound when the film is rolling through, and that will come out of your amplifier. So you're kind of just going to want to advance the film through. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention. This, you, I don't know if you can see this, but this right here is your picture start frame. And you do not want to cut your picture anywhere past the picture start. Otherwise, it will throw your dailies out of sync. Um, you can cut anywhere before that. I choose to cut um, all that junk off that the that comes on your dailies when it comes back from the lab and splice the leader on from there. You also want to make sure that your leader for your picture and sound are in sync with each other because that could throw stuff off too. So as I'm advancing the film through I'm going to start to hear some sound. Good morning, this is sound roll yeah. number one. So our sound has started, and you're going to want, when you advance the film, you're going to want to try to keep it at 24 frames per second speed as best as you can. The 5th of March, 2005, 1-3-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sound head down and I'm going to advance through this scene um, until I see the flash frame and I hear a cut. So I heard cut, and I'm going to mark my flash frame, right there, and I'm also going to mark the f invisible flash frame on the audio so that they stay in sync. To take the picture out, um, and we're gonna need to remember that red mark later. I'm gonna come back to it. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the sound head back down, and we're gonna advance through until we can find the next marker. C1 dash B, take one, one dash B, take one. Sound speeds. So there's, there's, there's the marker, you can hear it. So the slate is right there, if you can hear it. So now I'm going to... So it's right on the sixth frame. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sync mark right here. And now from the flash frame that we marked earlier, I'm going to find where the slate closes. So it looks like it's this, not this frame, but this frame right here. So I'm going to open up the gang. And I'm going to place, or I have to mark, silly me, I have to mark the, I have to mark the sync mark first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sync mark on this frame. I made a sync mark on this frame. I'm going to put it on frame number six, the same frame that the sync mark of the audio is on. And then I'm going to roll back. to my flash frame, which is right here, and then I'm going to mark it right on the frame line on the audio. So now that we have that red mark right there, I'm going to put it on the splicer right here. And we're going to splice it right there. And then we're going to get the other end. Then we're going to get the other end. We're going to find the other line that we marked earlier. So you kind of just want to like fish through it casually until you find the flash frame mark that you marked earlier.
So this was the flash frame mark that we marked earlier. I'm going to go back to the splicer. We're going to go back to the splicer. We're just going to put that the line where the, we're going to splice where the line is. We're just going, to, just going to take this off right here. And then we don't want to splice on the spot where the sound is, so we're going to flip it over and splice on the base. You want to make sure that you're splicing the right sides together. And you're going to take white tape, which is for magnetic sound. Just going to put it over like that. And rip it. Press it down. And as you can see, there's a huge mess of mag stock on the floor um, and that is all trash. From your sink mark which is right there you continue on doing the same thing for the rest of your picture roll. And that is how you sink dailies. Well I hope you really enjoyed the video on how to sink dailies the old-fashioned way on 35 millimeter film. Um, this is really a dead art. Um, it's kind of cool though to see where editing came from. Um, if you ever have the chance or opportunity to sync dailies on film one, and one day, um, I recommend you try it, but I do recommend you be patient. It's not as easy as syncing in Avid or Premiere. Um, it definitely takes patience and a lot of time, um, but once you get the hang of it, it's a very simple process. So I guess that's it for now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, fairly simple, straightforward, so yeah.